What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. In today's lesson, we're going to focus on one verb, specifically to look, and we're going to learn 14 phrasy verbs that contain this verb. This is the second edition of this series of videos. I made one on to follow. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You can find the link in the description down below. And I recommend grabbing your vocabulary notebook, opening your section for phrasy verbs and writing them down. Are you ready? If so, grab a pen and your vocabulary notebook and let's get going. So let's get started. The first phrasy verb on my list today is to look after someone or something. It means to take care of someone or something. Let's look at two examples. The first one, he's always willing to look after his niece and nephew. And one more example, it's important to look after your body and mind. And now let's move on to our second phrasy verb which is to look ahead to something. To something is optional. It means to think about what is going to happen in the future. The first simple sentence here, I prefer not to look ahead and be present here and now instead. And one more example here, we need to look ahead and make plans for next year. Number three, to look around. It has two meanings. The first one is to turn your head so that you can see something. Let's put it into a simple sentence. Look around. This place is gorgeous. And the second meaning of to look around is to visit and explore a place and to look at the things in it. The first example, imagine that you are in a shop and the shop assistant asks you, can I help you? And you can answer, no, thanks. I'm just looking around. And one more example here. I can't wait to look around Dublin. Number four, a super common phrasal verb to look at someone or something. It also has different meanings. And the first one is to direct your eyes towards someone or something. For example, if someone's staring at you, you could ask, why are you looking at me like that? The second meaning is to think about, consider, or study something. For example, we need to look at ways to reduce costs. Number five, to look back on or at something. It means to think about something in your past. Two examples here. The first one, I prefer not to look back on my past mistakes. And one more example here, when I look back, I'm glad everything happened the way it did. Number six, to look down on someone. It means to think that you're better than someone. The first simple sentence, I can't stand people who look down on others. And one more example here, it's foolish to look down on people who don't have a university degree. Number seven, to look for someone or something. It means to search for something or someone. For example, I'm looking for my phone. Have you seen it? And the second meaning would be to hope for something and to expect something. Let's put it into a simple sentence. I'm looking for a change. And guys, before we continue, just a super quick reminder. If you like my channel, please make sure you subscribe to English Bits and don't forget to like today's lesson. Thank you very much. Number eight, to look forward to. It means to be thinking with pleasure about something that is going to happen. Be careful and remember that after to, you have to use ing, to look forward to doing something. Two simple sentences here. The first one, I'm looking forward to going to Havia. And the second one, what are you looking forward to doing this summer? Please let me know in the comments down below. I'm very curious. Number nine, to look into something. 
It means to investigate and to examine something. Two examples. The first one, the detective is looking into the case. And one more example here, the committee is looking into the plane crash. Number 10, to look out. It means to be careful and it's a synonym of to watch out. Two examples, the first one, look out, the ground is slippery. And the second one, look out, there is a car coming. Number 11, to look over something. It means to quickly examine something. The first sample sentence, I didn't have much time to read the report in detail, but I looked over it. And one more sample sentence here, she looked over her notes before the exam. Number 12, to look up to someone. It means to admire someone. The first simple sentence, I look up to Rafa Nadal and Vladimir Zelensky. They are my source of inspiration. Number two, and of course, I look up to my mom. Number 13, to look through. It has different meanings. The first one, it's a synonym of to look over. So it's to examine or to read something quickly. For example, she looked over the magazine before entering the doctor's office. The second meaning is to place your eyes in order to see through something. For example, a telescope, binoculars, or a keyhole. For example, when he looked through the keyhole, he saw that the room was empty. And the third meaning is to ignore someone pretending not to see them. For example, she didn't say hello. She just looked through me as if I wasn't there. And last but not least, the phrasal verb to look up. The first meaning is to raise your eyes. For example, please look up and close the sky over Ukraine. The second meaning is to look for information in a book, dictionary, or on a computer. For example, if you don't know a word, look it up in a dictionary. And the third meaning is to improve and to become better when we refer to a situation. And the last sample sentence for today, I hope the situation in Ukraine will look up soon. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this video up to the very end. I really hope you liked it and found it useful. And don't forget to check out the first edition with 11 phrasal verbs that contain the verb to follow. And of course, if you learned something new and enjoyed today's lesson, please don't forget to like it, to subscribe to English Bits, and remember that you can catch me on Instagram where I teach English every day. Thank you for joining me today. Have a lovely Sunday and see you next Wednesday with a shorts and next Sunday with our long lesson as usual. Thank you. Have a nice day. Ciao for now.